Well, David, you're out of the house after week two. Mm -hmm. Do you think you deserve to be let go? Um, I mean, obviously, it's, it's always disappointing when you go out so early. Um, you know, I, I felt like it was a task where I had to take the, take the leadership on it. And when you step forward so early and things don't work out your way, you put, you're put yourself in the chopping block. So obviously, I'm disappointed to go. But, you know, I can see why Bill made the decision in terms of what he knows about us at this point. And, yeah, disappointed to go, but wish I could, wish I could have shown more of what I could do. Was it a difficult task to be managing, or would you prefer to maybe not do this task and kind of save your best for later? Um, I mean, obviously, as it's human nature that you'd like to go further and kind of, if you have the opportunity to sit back and then show your strength at a later point, then who wouldn't like to do that? But um, I think I was the only, I was the only person on the on the team who had a, a real background in marketing. So to not step forward at that point when it went to marketing task, I think would have been a would have been a mistake in itself. So I, I think I had to be the one who, who took the leadership on it. And at the end, the the, the the team lost out. And as project manager, you're you're the front and center to go. So is there anybody you think that should have went ahead of you tonight? If you were to look at any of the other contestants, you know, it's it's a really it's a really difficult question because the two people I brought back in, people have said to me, look, you brought probably the two strongest players in your team back in and I think I did I think I brought back the people who contributed the most but the reason why I did that was because the client the client said they didn't like what we did so I had to look at the people and say well look we're the ones who, who made this happen so here's what you didn't like and here's the people who was responsible for it it's that kind of thing where if you went the other way and you brought in the people who did little or nothing you hear back and say well you know they're not the ones responsible for what happened so why didn't you bring in the other people so you know you're kind of hung either way so I, I did what I thought was right at the time and move on. What would you do different if you were going back in all over again? I, I really do think you probably have to do get a little little more involved in the gameplay in, in putting yourself at the background early on and waiting for an opportunity later on to show your strengths. Um, in regards to the task, obviously, I would, have, I would have done stuff differently there in that, I, you know, we spent a lot of time in the radio ad marketing strategy, which we got slated for, but um, I don't think they're really looking for a radio ad marketing strategy. I, I think they were looking for ad buying um, and, and satisfying, buying a bundle that today FM were promoting. We didn't do that. We went a customised way, and I don't think they appreciated that. Who do you think is the strongest group, the boys or the girls? Um... I think, I think the boys have, I mean both sides have a lot of people who are very forthright and put their opinions out there. I, I think the boys, on paper you look and I'd say the boys have a stronger background. Um, but in saying that, you know, there's a couple of the girls that I'd pick out and say that they'll go a long way. Is there anyone that stands out in particular that you would like to see go a long way? Yeah, I mean on, on the boys side obviously I, I made Barry my sub PM and I was pretty defensive of him on, on the Urfard show. I, I think he has a lot to add and I think I like the way he's playing the game in that he's not going in with tactics. He's trying to win the task for his team and and, and be the best he can. I think there's there's other people who aren't playing that way so I, I'd be supportive of Barry on the boys side. And on the girls side I think, um, I think Neve McDonald gets on along well with people and she's playing the similar way. She's trying to do the best for the team, she's trying to be honest and let people judge her on that. It sounds to me like there is a lot of game playing uh, going on in the house more so this year. Do you think that's because people have watched The Apprentice and they've kind of looked at it over the past couple of years and they kind of go in with... Yeah, I, I think people have definitely learned from previous episodes. Um, I mean, I don't have a whole lot of experience of The Irish Apprentice. I mean, obviously I was living in New York, so my experience was more with The American Apprentice. Um, I, I think over there they're more focused on the business aspects, and I think here there's a lot more of the personal aspect and conflicts in terms of personalities that the, the, they're looking for a lot more. So I think people have definitely learned that if you kind of don't put yourself front and centre of decisions here early on, you'll go a lot further, at which point you have the opportunity to do something better late on, which might, might win it for you. What do you think of Bill Cullen? What's he like to be in front of in the boardroom? Um, I think he's definitely trying um, to be a lot more aggressive this year, put himself forward as a, you know, a kind of more more of a hard man, making the tough decisions and, and criticising people where he needs to. I think he was perceived in previous years as being a bit of a soft touch. Would you do it all again? 
no, I, I wouldn't do it again. As I've said, put me back in the situation before I started, I would take the same opportunity, but now that I know what I know about the process and the show, I wouldn't do it again. Okay. Thanks very much, David. You've been very honest and I've enjoyed talking to you. Thank you.